everyone, Tracy here with Paper Closet Designs and today I want to share with you um, a new project that I've been working on, some new things that I'm doing. These are the shadow boxes and I've got some for Valentine's, I've got some for um, St. Patrick's Day, I'm working on some Easter ones, I've got a bunch more in the works but I just thought I'd kind of show you a sample of what I'm doing and then um, show you how to put one together. So these are the little shadow boxes and they come in two sizes. They come in the four by five or the three by four. And then I've got them so that they run, uh, uh, oh my gosh, I can't even think today. Anyway, they run the long way or they run the fat way. Portrait or landscape, sorry. So here's the one that I did for Valentine's Day. And this one just has love and I actually, this is a printable one, but I also just cut all the pieces out to kind of see what it would look like if I put it on like a paint background instead of doing the printable. So there's that one. This is the Kiss Me I'm Irish. This is the smaller one. And they all come with a printable file, which I'll show you in a minute, and then the little um, 3D piece that you can add to it. This one's probably my favorite one. Irish Kisses and Shamrock Wishes. And then Hanging with My Peeps. And like I said, I've got a bunch more going, but today I wanna to show you how to do this one. This is our Cottontail Candy Company. And it also is going to run the landscape way. So when you get this, you will have your, um, your shadow box file, which is just one piece. You will have your printable, and you can use just the printable and then be done. And then it also has your little 3D pieces. So let's set those two th or three things aside and we're gonna start with our shadow box. So this one has texture on one side of the paper and I want the texture on the outside of my shadow box. I'm gonna flip it over. And then you're just gonna come and start folding on your score lines. And there's four score lines on each side and you're gonna fold them all in towards the center of your shadow box. Just like that, pretty simple, right? I'm gonna do that on all four sides. You'll notice that the two shorter sides, the um, pieces have a little bit of an angle at, on them, and that's so that you can create that angled corner. And then your long pieces do not have those. These little files go together so fast, and I'll have to tell you why I started doing them. I was putting together a my little tiered, you know, two-tiered tray that has holds all my decorations, seasonal decorations, and I was looking for some new Valentine's stuff, and everything that I saw on Pinterest, and when I went to Hobby Lobby and Michaels, it was all wood. Don't get me wrong, I love wood projects. I've done a lot of them myself. But sometimes you have to wait for the, you have to cut the wood and you have to wait for it to paint it and you have to wait for it to dry and, and then you have to add your vinyl and whatever. So I took all the hard work out and made these. So now that you've got all of your edges folded, we're going to just fold it or lay it down flat on the table and we're going to put glue on all of these outside tabs or tape. I'm going to attempt my little tape runner, we'll see. This is not the best tape. It works fine for like cards and stuff. Let's see how it works in the box. Usually I use my ATG gun when I do these because I think the tape in it is a little bit stronger. But for this video, we're gonna try this. Oh, I'm getting it on the table and everything. Okay, once you've got that done, you're going to start with your angled edges first. And we're just gonna flip those over all the way to form a box, if you can see that. Or, and then if you really wanna push it and get it adhered good, you can just lay it down and squish it like that. Okay, then we're gonna flip it over and do this other angled corner the same way. And now we're going to take these longer edges and we're gonna do the same thing, but when we flip them over, we're just gonna tuck them up inside those angled corners. And you have to kind of play around with it a little bit, but they do work. There we go. 
And they're going to pop open just a little bit, but that's all right because we're going to add a drop of glue in there to secure them closed. You might have to play around with it for a minute. It's totally okay. You're not doing anything wrong. Okay. Once we have them pretty um, situated, then we're going to take our glue. We're just going to add a little bit of glue. Oops, my glue is about dead. Sorry, you didn't come here to watch me play with my glue. There we go. Just put a little bit of glue right there on the corner and then hold it for a second or two till it um, adheres really good. Wouldn't these be fun cut out of like some wood printed paper or something? Oh, I think they would be. So many different things that you can do with this. I'm so excited about these, these files. Like I said, I've got a lot more on the drawing table, so I hope that you will enjoy them. I cannot wait to put it on in my tray. You could also put them on a mantle, um, group them. You could put them on your window seal. You could um, put them on a small uh, shelf, you know, those little shelves that hold your books. Um, picture frame shelves, I think is what I'm trying to think of. Anyway, so many ways to use these. You could even, if you had one of those thicker padded envelopes, you could use this as a card and mail it and put a message on the back, mail it to somebody. So fun. Put them in a little uh, cellophane bag with some candy. It makes a great little neighborhood gift or co-worker gift. So fun. Okay, so now that this is all done and you're, it, the, it's pretty sturdy once the glue dries, You've got the back is flat. Um, so now we're going to take our printable and I'm just going to run some tape along the back of it. And I do have some videos showing you how easy it is to do your printables in both the Cricut and the Silhouette. I will tell you that in my files, um, if you buy them from me, they have a, a Silhouette print and cut file, a PNG file that works in your Silhouette, a PNG that works in your Cricut, and um, and then a PNG that you can just print off and cut out. So lots of different ways to use it. We're just going to slip that right in there. And if you wanted to, you could be completely done. You could just um, leave it just like that and, and be finished with it. Or you can add the little 3D elements if you want. So I'm going to just put a little tiny bit of glue on my bunny's tail. And then I'm going to flip him over and take my, uh, my foam tape. If you've watched any of my videos, you know that I have this big, huge roll. It's running out, though. It's, I've used about half of it in probably a year, so I have to get me some more. Remove the back pieces. Start to finish in less than 10 minutes. And if you took the time to cut everything out, maybe five minutes, or an extra five minutes, so maybe 15. So we're just going to add that right there. And you can see, I think, that it gives it a little bit of dimension, but there it is. I am gonna put just a tad bit more glue on this one corner because it keeps popping out. But that is all there is to it. Cottontail Candy Company, Jelly Beans, Marshmallows, Marshmallow Chicks, and Chocolate Bunnies. And this will be so fun sitting on my tiered tray in my kitchen with all of my Easter stuff. So anyway, I hope that you enjoy these. Let me know in the comments what you're going to do with it. And be sure and hit subscribe down below so that you don't miss out a single video. Thank you.